talent. Yes, actors. girl. Oh, wow. <laughs> I really have to talk. You When's know, the video com pick. coming out? Ah, girl, listen. I haven't seen <laughs> this video yet. They have this video on, like, like it's super protected. Like, I haven't seen it. I'm, like, itching to see it. They have it. They won't send it to me. I got to, like, go in and, like, look at it. Oh, so man. I don't know. that They have big plans for it. Whatever Khaled's planning is going to be a movie because I'm just sitting here, like, fill me in. What's up? I want to see it. And he's just, like, it's a movie. So I don't know, but I'll keep you posted. You guys have to stay tuned. And when I find out, you'll definitely know. Okay. So was it shot in Miami? Like we always do. Yeah, it was shot in Miami. Um, okay. Shout out to Kathy. Uh, you know, it's just a, it's a really fun, sexy, young video. Just having fun, driving around, like um, on the beach, in the club, dancing. It's just, it's just, it's fun, man. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm excited. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm really excited, excited too, girl. I want to know first of all, like, mm -hmm. why? What made you make a song about Saturday? Because Saturday is already a spicy kind of day. <laughs> Sat day. Sat day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I, I didn't write the song. The song was submitted to me by Big Z and Lamb, who are like these super dope Grammy nominated producers who okay. work with everyone. But, you know, one thing about me is I don't, I won't sing anything or put anything out that I don't feel like represents me. Uh -huh. right. So when I did hear the record, I was like, yo, this is dope. Because my Saturdays, maybe not every single Saturday, but for the most part, this is Miami. Like, Saturdays are yeah, usually Saturdays turned, turned up. Turned. And it's just, yes. I just felt like it's the perfect day of the week. You know, Monday through Fr True. Friday, you work, right? And, and sometimes Friday, Saturday carries on to Sunday. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so Saturday's like that one day you have like 24 hours to just really go in. You right. Know? And, I, and I, I related to that. So, and then Sunday's, you know, the day to rest and, you know, recuperate from what you did on Saturday. <laughs> and then, you know, and then you start to work week again and you're back to Saturday. So I just felt like, yo, this song is dope and it, you know, it represented me. So. All right. So Saturday. serious question. You have the line... He ate the booty on Saturday. Like, what is this Ooh, craze? Yeah. I feel like everybody, this is like a new thing. Unless everybody was doing it, and First then of all, now everyone's talking about it's, it. It's yeah. trendy. <laughs> I, definitely, I definitely feel like um, everybody, come on, like, everybody's been doing it. You know, I don't want to act like, oh, this is something new that just happened. You know, the doors are just being kicked down it. a little bit, and women are finally being able to express. Now everyone's just talking about You know, about the things, it. Um, the things that we enjoy and the things that you know we like, and <laughs> and you know, it's just, it's just, it's just a process. We're just, you know, slowly but surely we're kicking down these doors. It just finally like, came hey, out. The secret's here, out. <laughs> you know. Um, okay, so let's talk about culture shock. You were in a group. Um, you were the only female. And yes. now you're doing the solo thing. Is this the, is the group still um, together? No, you know the group. The group was put on pause just because okay. life happens, you know. And I don't know if you guys know, but we've been grinding for a minute. Like right. I've been signed to Pole Boys for maybe like five years. So in the in the group, you know. So we've just been grinding for a minute, and and the term struggling artist is real. Mm -hmm. Like you know, Definitely. you're really putting your heart and your soul into everything, and and hoping that it pans out. And when life kicks in, you know, the, the guys in the group mm -hmm. felt like they needed to just, you know find other avenues to come up mm -hmm. and they did and they're doing really well and they're super supportive in fact they're a part of the team now and they're like just they're behind my project more than anyone else so i'm just really grateful to have them and like i'm surprised you know about culture soccer where you got that from <laughs> doing our research we girl our research. internet we doing our research girl <laughs> no but i did listen to some of your stuff and it was dope then too but i think you're you found your lane and your turn up music, I don't know if that's what we should expect for you in the future, but this is definitely yeah. good for you right now, especially for the summer. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Thank you. I definitely feel like this was a really fun record to um, come out with, you know, to kind of introduce myself, because I'm, you know, it's definitely fun, but I'm a singer and I'm a, like, I sing. So I just can't wait to you really sang. Like, pour my hat on on records and, you know what I mean? But, you know, I don't want to simplify my you know need to just one type of music so i just feel like just stay tuned man we got so much more coming the stuff that we're working on right now is so dope i, I can't wait for you guys to hear it and we're excited definitely so you're the first lady yeah. of um we the best is the, are there any other yes. girls in we the best are there any what i'm sorry other females 
in no. We The Best? <laughs> no, it's just me. It's so funny because I just did a, a, another interview and with Khaled at, there at the time, and he kind of was like, yo, I never thought I'd have a, a female artist. I that's what I'm saying. Like, like you should, this is, yeah. this is awesome. That's, big. that's, that's really big. Yeah, yeah so I definitely feel like, you know, it's surreal. Like, I sometimes oh. have to step outside myself and be like, wow, he just said that. Like, he was never going to have an artist, and here I am sitting here because he heard a record and thought it was dope. And, you know, it's just, it's dope. Yes. But you guys like the record. Tell us about this blue hair because what is <laughs> what, what is up with the blue hair? Like, I love it. You look good in it. I'm not going to, you know what I'm Thank saying? But I want to know, why, why blue? What inspires your look? Um, you know, I just, I, first of all, I have to cut it shitty because he was one of the members in my group and I hate to do this because he's so cocky <laughs> that I don't even want to give him this, like, little, I know. you know, this little love, but... He definitely was like, yo, you should dye your hair like lime green. This was like a few years ago, and mm -hmm. I was like, that's not going to happen. Lime green is insane. <laughs> so, but I was like open to the idea, and um, I've been playing with colors for years. It's been pink and purple, and, and finally when my stylist was like, yo, let's try blue. It just was a look. I, I don't know. It just suits me the best. I just feel like the colors complement me the best, so... Um, that's it brings out your like, complexion. Yeah. That, yeah. that Miami sun does yes. you good. Yes, mm -hmm. yes girl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something else. Um, you said you had a Haitian background, so can we expect some of that Haitian music influences mixed with Miami and some of upcoming course. tracks from you? Of course. Yes. I feel like there, there are no limits to like what you know. I feel like when you when you make music and you love what you do, there are no limits to where your music. Well, and my dad actually was in a, a band when mm -hmm. I was growing up called Macho Band. So my whole life, I've kind of wanted to get to a place where I can have his band come back together uh -huh. and like produce a record that I could like sing on. And so I don't know, man. Everything it's in the blood. It, it'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. Possible. Yes, anything is possible. So and you see us right now. What we're doing is putting it into the universe, and then like exactly it's that's what back. it's all about. You just spoke it. You just spoke it. So it's happening. Right? Yes. So before you got on the line, we were talking to everybody about our exes, right? Mm -hmm. We didn't get oh, into Lord. too much detail, but we have the one question. If you had to pick an emoji to describe your ex, what would it be? Yes. <laughs> Which ex? The last ex? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the little man that runs away really quickly? Yes! Oh, that's a good one. It would one. be that that's one. Good it one. would be that emoji. And, it would, and, and then I would where like not only am I running like it's with speed, like I, I'm out, like speeding in dollars, I'm just out of there. That's the emoji to describe my ex all day. I That's like so funny. Ex, honestly. I, you know which one I picked? The, the, the little shit with the eyes? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like I should have picked the because you know that one the super whiny, the sad one. yeah, the whiny like the uh, because he's he's just the always, whiny face. Yeah, at first I picked the moon because he's just annoying, but that's the, you know what? There's all of them, all the negative ones, all the negative ones. <laughs> well, speaking of relationships, so how do you balance being a female in the industry and the whole relationship and personal life thing, especially yes. now that you're about to be super on your grind? Yeah. I know, I'm so excited. It's impossible. <laughs> it's definitely it impossible. There's no space. There's no there's no space to try to make someone understand like right. your passion for something. I feel like, you know, if you're not in the industry, it's kind of one of those jobs where it's like, it's not a nine to five, so it's not the norm. Mm -hmm. And then you have to kind of always explain like, oh, you know, I'm in the studio at four o'clock in the morning with a yep. room full of men because mm -hmm. I'm just inspired to create. And, right. You know, it's like the, mo the average won't get it you know so it's just right now just, I'm just kind of vision man I, I know it's ahead of me and I'm kind of just like so excited that I don't even like have the space or the energy to entertain right uh, that's the perfect that mindset to be in honestly right now yeah. yep focus yep. coming okay. up soon we have um for the love stuff and for the love of the segment that I do about relationships, and today mm -hmm. um, is going to be about organic relationships. So I know in your industry, a lot of people are going to try to be your friend now, come around town again. Mm -hmm. Have you been experiencing that, <laughs> like some fake people just coming along? You know, I, I've been really fortunate to keep a really, like, close-knit circle around Good. me. Good. So That's how it should be. I'm not really, like, 
feeling that too much. But some people come around and they just they started to show love that you know haven't been so supportive. But it's all good. Like if you want to come through, come back around and show love. It's all good. As soon as the negativity comes, that's when I kind of gotta be like ah. Gotta yes. go. Yes. You gotta stick with you gotta the gotta people go. that you were broken famous exactly. with. Right, baby. <laughs> exactly. You know. So, um, so I'm good, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to stay positive and just keep positive people around me and just um, mm-hmm. get to this money and this money. Where get is to money? This shmoney, money. You know? Yes. Check, money dance. All right. So before we get back to the money and the hustle, and of course, we'll be right back with your song one more time. We gotta bring it back one time so we could party in the studio. Yes. But I have one more relationship question, and it's pretty vague. Um, okay. What's more your type? The safari or the meek? The supporter or the power couple? Ah! Oh, that's such a good question. You know, I feel like... How do I even answer that? <laughs> um, damn, the, the, the romantic in me wants to say the safari type just because, you know... Right. You need somebody to really hold you down. Right. Like, that that, yes. that real, yes. like, love and that real connection, that's everything. Like, someone who supports you and loves you for you and just wants to be a part of your project just because they have that love for you and that's genuine, you know, and they've been there through the grind. Yeah. Come on, like, I can't, I can't, I can't shy away from that. But at the same time... You want to get that, that shmoney with someone. Couple. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that power couple is dope. I mean, it just depends on who you fall for. I can't really take it. I could fall for the, the, the strong boss guy, or, or I could fall for the supporter. It just depends on, like, what God has planned for me. I don't know. I'm waiting, God. I'm waiting, God. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, girl. Just be patient. God got you. That's right. Well, Miami's a kind of like a mixed city, just kind of like New York. So with everything going on with Pride, how's everyone been taking it there? And how do you feel about, you know, the big change? The, what, what are you asking about the Gay Pride? Yeah, Gay Pride weekend and everything that's yeah. happening now. Everybody can get married. I mean, Real love. In, in Miami, it's nothing new. So, right. yeah. you know, I can't, I can't relate to other places that's kind of been like um, in the dark about. Right. You know, yeah. The, the gay community because for me like I grew up and it's just always been in Miami I've gone to school with kids that are bisexual or gay mm-hmm. or and it's just it is what it is it's, there's no I feel like it's, it's it's just us like we're just you're gay I'm straight we're family we're blood we're I have gay people in my family it's just I don't know I don't I feel like it's normal so I don't right like, I don't have well like now a, it is normal this is so exciting i feel like i mean yeah, to each his own. It's so we, well, here, you know there's limits but yeah of course all right steph thank you so much for having this phone call and calling in and supporting the show this is our first episode by the way oh really yes, yes. Oh. Your first guest. we had to get a strong woman to <laughs> to support <laughs> that's right but you're the homie Thank now, you. and we're coming like, out to Miami on the 25th, so we're yes, excited. Yes, 40 ounce. Yo, we got a 40 gotta ounce bounce. Out. Is that on a Saturday or? Turn <laughs> it's on a Saturday. <laughs> 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 yes, it is.